Attention, the following video is going to totally kick ass. If you enjoy any of it and or have a large penis, please click the like button below. Enjoy. Hello everyone, welcome back to South Park, the Stick of Truth, and today we... Today we are returning to the Goth Kids, and we are showing them my fancy new clothes. I got Stan with me, by the way. I switched off of Jimmy to Stan. I thought it'd be fun to try out his attack since I've kind of already battled Jimmy, so I know what his uh, singing lullabies are going to do. So why not try out Stan if we get in the battle at all? Oh, Joy, it's Butthole the Barbarian from the Dungeons of Dumbass. You gotta admit, he looks better. Yeah, he's almost a goth. Being goth isn't just how you dress, it's a frame of mind. It's time for you to prove that you go against society's rules. Yeah! There's a big PTA meeting happening right now at the community center. You need to walk right into the middle of that meeting and tape this sign to their table. <laughs> yeah, that will prove your individuality. Go on, beat it. And don't come back until you have a picture of that sign taped to the PTA table. Community center is right next door, so let's head in. Uh, yeah, have fun in there. I think I'll wait it out. Wow, Stan. Ow! Dick. Oh my god. It isn't right, I tell you! Out of nowhere, this huge Taco Bell is being built, and now our children are missing precious school time! Parents, we've been assured by the builders that they are working to fix whatever problems they've encountered, and school should be able to resume soon. Resume soon? Who do they think they are? They think we're gonna see a, a Taco Bell as being more important than our kids' educations? What if it's not really a Taco Bell we're dealing with? Thanks for coming, new kid. <laughs> Everyone, this is the kid whose family just moved to town. We've become very close friends. His name is... What's your name? Douchebag. Well, anyway, this child and I witnessed something last night, and I'd like you to hear his story. Go ahead, kid. Tell them, you know, about all the... Go ahead, tell them, tell them that stuff. The aliens took me and put a thing in my pooper. This is a waste of everyone's time. If the PTA isn't going to do something about Taco Bell taking over, then the rest of us parents Come will. On, yeah. Let's go! Come on! Rabble, 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 rabble. Well, this is going to be real easy. Can I talk to Randy first? I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your asshole. Thank you, sir. Mr. Mackey's like falling asleep over here. I used to have a bad hoarding problem, okay, but I got past it. Now I can just throw things away. Would you mind throwing this away for me? I just need it thrown away somewhere very specific. I'll show you on your map. Okay. Right. Mackey's storage key. Well, we've already actually found his uh, storage shed over by Mr. Al Gore. This is a PTA meeting, young man. Be on your way. Hmm. What does Mr. Garrison have to say? We haven't met him yet. F fuck the conformists. Why, are they a good lay? <laughs> Why don't you exercise your free speech at home, little boy? Don't we screw it around in here? What is he looking at? <laughs> Can we go into the best rooms? Not that one. Can't run in here either, which is kind of disappointing. Restroom? Yes! Oh my god. We can get another poop nugget. That one was a lot easier than the first one. Wow. Can we get some more? Shit nugget, take. And I can't do another one right now. Okay. I almost forgot to take my shit nugget. Can't do one in there. Oh, look what I found. Jin Pokemon! Right? Didn't you guys see a chin Pokemon in there? Alright, maybe I'm seeing stuff, but it never came up on my screen that I got a chin Pokemon. And I can't close that door again. I'm confused. I'm just gonna get out of here. Alright, let's place down the sign. I'm assuming they want it right here. Look, I know how you're feeling, okay? But this isn't gonna solve anything. We've got to get inside that Taco Bell and find out what's really going on. Help me with that, and I'll help you with this. I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your farts. I like how Meet he keeps me in the telling bathroom. you that. It's time for you to learn some real power. No way. Looks like... Oh, now it gave me the chin Pokemon. Okay. 
New quest, PTA problems. All right. Hello, Randall. I can tell you have potential, but you are undisciplined. Iraq disciplined. Let me show you what I mean. Come at me. Try and fart on me. Come on. Kia! You call that farting on someone? You missed by a mile. Try again. Hi, cha! See that? Your fart's over there somewhere. Didn't come close. So, what do you do when people can block your farts? You must learn to control your farts to move and release at a specific time and place. I'm going to teach you a fart called the Sneaky Squeaker. <laughs> it will become your greatest ally. Don't believe me? Try and block my attack. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> you see that? I distracted you. Distracting your opponents <laughs> is key to... Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Okay, you try. Make your fart detonate behind me. All right, hold down. Oh, I need to hold Make down that whole time. Sorry, sorry. Tension. Make your fart detonate behind me. All right, hold down. And over, and then right when he gets behind him. Perfect. Kind of. Oh, <laughs> oh, Mr. Mackey, now it's your turn. Use Sneaky Squeaker to distract Mr. Mackey over to the corner there. Oh, my God. Nice. Hey, did you guys hear that? Sounded like a chipmunk. <laughs> very, Ow. very good. Now use what I taught you to sneak inside that Taco Bell. Find out what they're up to and report back here. And no matter what happens, never fart on anyone's balls. <laughs> Got that? All right. Now go. Oh my god. Now, does that mean I can't return back to the goth kids yet because I never put the sign on the thing? That means I have to go over to the Taco Bell first. Alright. Looks like my next location to stop at is a Taco Bell. Alright, here is the Taco Bell. Now, how can I sneak behind these fine gentlemen? Oh! You'll need to use your sneaky squeaker to get past these guards with the sneaky squeaker selected. With the sneaky... That's hard to say. With the sneaky squeaker selected, pull down one R and then push one to send out the fart. Okay, so let's control the fart with L. When the fart is where you want it, use A to detonate it. Anyone highlighted by the fart, when you detonate it, will run over to it. Sweet. Okay, so fart. Up. Send it over here. Oh, like I missed one of them. Clown horn filled with prune juice. <laughs> So let's get them both over I think there. I heard a beetle dying. Huh? We're just gonna teeps. Oh my god! You can keep just sending them farther and farther. What was that? They're, this is awesome. I wonder how far you could take these guys across town. What was that? <laughs> I know I can probably go in now, but this is just too much fun. And there we go. Now let's go. Should be enough. Perfect. There are 30 Chin Pokemon hidden throughout the game. Can you find them all? I will find them all. Actually, I won't. This place doesn't really look like a Taco Bell. Oh, really, Stan? Really? Now, can we run over here? Yes, we can. So I want to use my Sneaky Squeaker. Shoot this over here. Now let's take that right there. stalked by a beaver family. He just said I'm being stalked by a beaver, fam beaver family. Uh, Here we go. Nicki Minaj released a new single. <laughs> okay. Let's sneak by him God? here. Got some treasure in here. Take all. Now let's do another. Oh, I know what I, I can do. Hold on. Let's use this. Hmm, that's shiny. Let's distract him over to here. 
I think someone's testing Tupperware. And oh crap! Can't get in. Holy crap! I need to do this as fast as I can. Engaging hostile. Oh my god! Does he know I'm up here? <laughs> I totally outplayed that guy. I'm so happy with that. Actually, I could have fought him. Actually. All right, stone hammer. Level seven worth seventeen dollars. Let me look at this. One hundred thirty-five to one eighty-seven. We are putting that on. And we'll also take the rusty pipe. So let's see what this can do for me here. And let's go to my stone hammer, which we can sell these all for good money if we ever run out of money. So don't worry about that. And let's see. What what is this new one actually? Moon Rock adds 50 frost damage on perfect attack, so we need to get that once we hit level 8. But for now, let's do add 25 fire damage. Perfect. Okay. Now, what can we do while we're up here? What about this thing here? There we go. But so far, we've been unable to stop the UFO from leaking the toxic waste. We've contained all we can, but there are no guarantees an outbreak will not occur. And does the alien liquid appear to have the same effect as last time? I'm afraid so. When the alien waste reacts with organic material on Earth, it turns things into Nazi zombies. Oh my god. <laughs> Here we go again. God damn it. I'm so tired of Nazi zombies. It's so overused. If the wrong person gets their hands on that green toxin, it could totally spread it. We have a big problem. All right, we're gonna have to completely obliterate everything in a three block radius. Find locations for the bombs and bury it all. Then make up a fake story about an earthquake. We can contain the outbreak this time if we act quickly enough. Let's move. Everything we've just talked about has been recorded onto this tape. I'm going to leave it alone here for a few minutes, then come back later and have it encrypted and locked away <laughs> so nobody ever hears what was said in this meeting. Yes, good idea. Oh my god. So we'll probably have to battle a few guards here? Oh, what, what the it's fuck? Broken free. He needs to to oh my god. No, I had to battle him? Good thing I just got that new weapon then, god damn. It's gonna have like 200 HP. This is getting or out 2, of 2,000, sorry. Stone hammer, let's try out this new stone hammer. 400 and... That's not that bad, I can take him out. Let's try my new fart attack. 314, and by the way, it's not a new attack, I don't know why I said that. Let's try out Stan's ability. So he has the Discus of Might. Stan hurls a deadly disc at the target. The disc can chain to random targets. Okay, so we're gonna go with the Discus of Might. Let's just try that one. I think my mom did a pretty oh, sweet job. Oh, this is kind of like costume. butters. Catch! There we go. He's almost dead. Why does he look so happy? Oh my! He kicked me. That's what you get. <laughs> now he's dead from being on fire. All right. Can I loot all these people? All right. Pentagram. Pentagram patch. Okay. SWAT vest level. Eight. That's gonna be a lot of armor, I bet. Okay. I can't wear that yet, though. I am not at the appropriate level. And what does this guy have? SWAT tactical gloves, SWAT armored headgear. I really need to rank up. Oh, wait, by the way. I have a major mistake here. Um, let's go to inventory, and I'm gonna put all my old armor back on since I no longer need this goth stuff, I guess. At least for right now. I can put that back on if I need to see those guys again. Let's put on my alien suit, which is level 4, and I'm up to level 7. I desperately need to get to level 8 so I can get on this new SWAT stuff, because I am really under-equipped when it comes to armor and stuff. And we'll do our squire gloves again. So yeah, I, desper I desperately need to uh, upgrade some of that stuff. Probably shouldn't open all that crap up. I don't know what's in there. Okay. And the meeting room is right inside over here. Actually, let's Man, see if there's anything else around here sure first. Boring. You'd think the secret government base would have more cool stuff in it. And over here, strength potion. Can we examine this? Uh, no, we can't. Oh, look what I found! Chin Pogo Mound. What's that one called? 
Gunrilla. That's pretty cool, actually. A gorilla with a bunch of guns on it. All right. Recording device found. Return to the PTA. Now, how do I get out of this fine establishment? I can't pick that up, by the way. It's just going to be a potion. Oh, there's doors. <laughs> oh, they're all Nazi zombies now. Did you see that? Can I loot him? I suppose not. There's something really weird about those pale German guys. Uh, oh, I'll fight him. That sounds like a fun time. <laughs> I didn't think I'd actually get away. That's why I was screaming out like that. Oh not what we need God, right now. They actually have Nazi. I never tried out my new longbow, by the way. So let's try that out. He's resistant. They're all resistant. I think my mom to that. did a pretty sweet job with my costume. They are not resistant, however, to this. This one has 527, so I'm going to target him first, kind of get him out of the battle. There we go. Now, Stan, you have marked for death. What does that do? I don't know, but I'm going to do it. Oh, what red the heck? Rocket. Oh my god. He brings his doggy in to do a red rocket. And let's try out his new whirlwind slash here. Stan executes a spinning sword attack that hits multiple foes. Mash A, then press X whenever you see this. Alright. Hmm, I think I... Oh, I got that perfect on my first try. I thought I messed up. It's hard to hit A and then magically hit X, you know? No way, dude. Well, Stan has a lot of HP. I like that. He has a gun! That takes 253. I don't even know if I can block that. Oh, oh no, you don't! What's everyone's oh. issue with Stan? Oh my god. Alright, let's get the revive potion going here. I wasn't ex I just said Stan had so much HP and then first battle. Dead as hell. Use that. I would use my turret of shit to throw at someone, but I don't feel like I need it necessarily. I can't use mana, so I want to make sure I don't fart on people. There we go. Sorry, did he try to kiss me? Oh, he tried to bite me. He's a zombie. Hit like my grandpa. All right, let's use a health potion on Stan. Just a small one. Heal him up. Now, let's use Stan's sword. Tap A when you see this. Why did he start running away? Okay. And he's on fire, so I'm not going to waste my attack on him, because he'll just burn to death here soon, so. There we go. My, that's crazy. Well, maybe I should have taken him out. <laughs> Alright, we'll use Sand Sword on him. He's dead now. 132, and he is dead. It's fun fighting with Sand, although he's similar to me, so... It's not like there's much difference in the battle there. He's kind of the fighter class like I am. Can I loot you? But I can loot you guys. I desperately want to get to level 8. There's so much more armor and stuff at level 8 that I have. All right, let's head back to the PTA over at the community center. I guess that's what it's called. There's just zombies everywhere. Can I fight all of them? Over there one time? I guess I can't fight them. Stay out of the Lost Forest. Sure, it's got... They just told me to check out the Lost Forest. That might be something I would like to do later. And the community center should be right here. Oh, Randall, I got your stuff. What's this? It's a recording. There's data on here. Or data. Did they say anything? What kind of Taco Bell is it going to be? When are they going to be finished building it? Shh, shh. <laughs> All right. We're going to have to completely obliterate everything in a three-block radius. What? Then George is underground to blow up the area and bury it all. Then make a fake story about an earthquake. They're going to just blow up three blocks? Sons of bitches. You sons of bitches! What gives them the right? I knew there was more to this. It's not a simple Taco Bell we're dealing with. It's the most massive Taco Bell <laughs> ever built. You see... Ever since the whole Doritos Locos Tacos thing, Taco Bell thinks they can do whatever they want. Well, not here. Not in our town. <laughs> You've done well, new kid. We're not going to let Taco Bell win. I'll take that picture you wanted now of you with the PTA. <laughs> nice. I'll send it to you. Nice. Nice. All right. Um, That is funny. 
Let's head back to the other goth kids. I'm not sure if I need to have my, uh, I guess I do. I probably will have to have that clothing on for them. Got myself a fight. I'm going to do this real quick, maybe level up a little bit, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Dude, we're pretty badass. Yeah, we are, Stan. We sure are. And I am almost at level 8 if you look at the top right corner. Oh my god, look at this cop! Holy crap. Almost forgot to loot these guys. I would've got yelled at. Can I loot you too? I can I, there we go. Oh, I would like to do one more battle to rank up real quick, but I don't know if that's going to be a possibility. Alright, let's go talk to the goth kids. I'm not going to put the clothes on. If I need the clothes, then you know what? I'll put them on. But if I can do this without having to put the clothes on, it would save me three minutes of my time. I see you only up and decay. You are a rotting corpse to me. God dang it. Okay, let's put my clothes on. Oh yes, I really want to get that SWAT vest. Adds 30 armor, so that's really going to be good. Because right now I only have 10 total armor. Actually, a little more before we get put, put the goth hat on. And... Goth gloves. Now will you talk to me, kids? Whoa, he did it. Nice. Yeah, but he's still not goth. He'll have to pass the final test. You may look goth, Frodo, but can you dance goth? Hell yeah, I can. Don't you just nod your head and drink coffee? Less enthusiasm. Oh my god, I'm really playing guitar here right That's now. That's not how you drink coffee. Totally fucking bullshit. Holy shit. I'm feeling the rage. Oh my god, this is getting harder. Boom, boom, boom. Why? Why? Hey. Like Why? Why? Wow. What do you think? He's pretty goth. He's pretty goth, right? Yeah, that was pretty good. I felt this pain. I want to do more of that. That was fun. All right, new kid. You've officially proven yourself. Yeah, just tell us where you need us, and we'll be there. Sweet. But the key question there is, tell us where you need us. Four friend requests. That is good. I need, I think, three more for uh, getting extra stuff. Now, here's the big thing. Do I take him to Cartman's? Choose to fight for the humans, or choose to fight for the elves? So yeah, that leaves us with, uh, oh, I have an upgrade available. That means I'm level, oh, sweet, I'm halfway through level 8 even. Got my new friends, new friends. All right, abilities. Horn of Irritation, strip buffs from your primary target while taunting all foes, forcing them to attack you without special abilities. Hmm. I guess that's good. I can't upgrade it yet, so I won't. Let's just go with the Bull Rush. Deal an additional amount of damage based on your armor. Well, I will show you why that's good. Yes. So now that I can do that, look at this. We have new clothes, and these new clothes are SWAT armored headgear, which that doesn't add any extra armor. Attack again when an enemy dies. Oh, that's really good. Holy shit. Okay. And we can't even put anything on that. You see how there's not a uh, hexagon there? Hexagon, I'm done. Pentagon that we can add an upgrade to. A modifier, I should say, rather. And for this, look at this. SWAT vest adds 30 armor. So that's way more than we've ever had before. So we're going to do that. And what was the modifier we had on this? Gain one POP when you block attack. You can keep that. I don't want that. All right. Modify. And what is our new modifier? That level 8 one? Melee weapon attacks inflict 50 more damage. Well, color me interested. All right. And now let's go down here, and our SWAT gloves, tactical gloves I should say rather, special weapons and tactics. And then our tactical gloves add 10 armor, reducing enemies' attacks. We have a little bit of, what was on this one? Add 7 armor. Hold on. We're going to take this off. No. Modify. And unequip. And we want to put that on our tactical gloves. Modify. And this is really good because it adds 7 armor. It's only level 4, but I want it because that gives us more armor, which makes that thing stronger. Yes. So I will meet you guys over by the new team that we are fighting for. All right? So place your bets now on who I will be fighting for. Is it going to be Cartman over here at Cartman's house? Or am I heading over here? to Kyle's house. Hmm, I don't know. I'll see you guys over there. 
I was always taught you dance with who brung you, or brought you, or who brung you. <laughs> dance with who brung you. Cartman, you my boy. Ah, you have returned. Come, sir douchebag. It is time to summon our forces. Simply call them here and your dedication to Koopa Keep will be complete. Climb the tower. I almost didn't know what to do there. Oh, I'm stuck on the fucking sandbox. Okay, the stables, sorry. So that's what the tower's for. Everyone gather round! While the rest of you have been picking your respective arses, Sir Douchebag has gone out and brought help to our kingdom. Damn right. Sir Douchebag, it is time to finally give you a title worthy of your deeds. By the power of Mandaloth, thirdborn of the Red God, and by the glory of Christ, I hereby anoint thee, Commander Douchebag, with all the rights and privileges accompanied therein. Commander Douchebag! Bah, 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 bah. Eric! Eric! We know where the elves are hiding their stick! What? Really? We just intercepted their messages on Twitter! You mean you shot down their message, Raven? Right, we, we shot down their Raven. <laughs> the evil elf king is, is hidden a stick inside his desk at school. Of course. Kyle hid it in his desk. Citizens of Koopa Keep, we know where the elves are hiding the stick. I told you they were cheating. Now we shall march on the skew and make the hallways drip with elven blood. Huzzah! Fucking awesome. My logic behind choosing Cartman... Cartman's one of my favorite characters, him and Randy Marsh, so why would I not fight with Cartman? Come on. Come on now. Defenders of freedom, I thank you for your courage and your audacities in joining our fight. Tonight, we are no longer the humans or the goths. Tonight, we unite as one. I feel like such a homo sapien right the now. The humans are here! <laughs> Ooh, they blew their horn! Blow ours, butters! Guys, blink left! Goth kids, prepare to attack from behind! They've barricaded the entrance! The elves are up to their old Jew tricks again! Find another way in! Take out the barricade from behind! Next time on South Park The Stick of Truth, we are going to be attacking the school alongside our friend, our buddy, our leader. Eric Cartman. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I love you. Try the cafeteria. There's a door by the loading docks. Go!